Okay, hello viewers. So today, uh, or a while ago, I received a request on how to play Mario Hacks. So uh, I decided to make this video on how to make it on a Mac, which is probably the reason why I clicked on this video. So uh, before we can get started on anything, we need to download a couple of things first. So the first thing you need is an emulator or an application to actually run the Mario game. So uh, the application is called Super Nintendo or SNES 9X. So simply just go over here, click over, click on this link. And uh, you should have this download, your download starting thing pop up. Now, I've already downloaded it, and I don't want to re-download it. But uh, you should receive a file, which might look blank. Uh, here's the name of it. Simply just double-click it. Just that simple. And uh, what you want to do is you can delete this file if you want. I'm going to put it into the side. And uh, you get the DMG file, so all you do is double-click that. Uh, let's go. And then now uh, you should receive this. Now over here you'll have a couple of documents, uh, but what you want to do is the, don't don't put in your application folder just yet. Uh, what you want to do is create a new folder, name it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it SNEX9X because that's the name of the app. And drag the folder in there or the emulator or the application inside that. As that is going to be much easier. Trust me, you'll see later on. So you have the folder in there, you can uh, eject this if you like. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just close this for now. So the next thing you need is, I'm going to put this aside, sorry, is the actual Super Mario World game or the ROM file. So again, uh, all the links are going to be in the description below. So uh, here you'll have the page, just go scroll down and you should say download ROM. And uh, again, I already have this. So once you go to download ROM, you're going to have a little loading thing and then you're going to have to wait for this and you have to re-click download here again. You just have to be a bit patient. And then the download should start. Now if this link doesn't work, just Google Super Mario World ROM. So once you're done, you should get a zip file. Uh, again, I'm going to put this to the side and I just unzip it. You can just double click it again. Uh, I'm going to put this to the side. And now you should have a folder called Super Mario World. So uh, you should have a readme and the actual ROM file. Simply go to your folder that you created, make a new folder and call it ROMs. And then finally take that Super Mario World SMC file and drag it into ROMs. Now what's happened is when you, you can now run the application, yes. And uh, what you want to do before you actually run is you might want to configure the controls for Mario gaming specifically. So what I just copy what I have here, simply put B where the Z button is and A where the X button is. Then put L and R on A and S. Then you should have two things known as freeze and defrost. Put freeze on Q and defrost on D W. I'll show you what that does later. And the second thing you want to do is uh, when you open the ROM or the, sorry, the application, would go to preferences because you might want to change things first. You might go to graphics, change it to full screen mode. Uh, you change a uh, stretch to image in full screen mode. And uh, I think uh, you can pretty much, if you want, you can adjust the all the stuff you want yourself. You can adjust your preferences. So when you open the ROM, or first open the application, uh, if you want to, what you want to do is open ROM image, and then uh, find your folder that you created, and put it into ROM. So now whenever you open the open, you'll uh, go to this ROMs folder, and once you open this, you get the Super Mario World actual file or whatever. But what you want is a hack, so you can play that if you want. So I'm gonna simply qu uh, quit the application. So now that you got the actual ROM and everything, you, you are almost there. What you need first is go to Super Mario Super Mario, SMWcentral.net. Again, the links in the description. And then on the sidebar, you want to click on Tools. It's right there. Then scroll down, and uh, you want to download Lunar IPS V1.02. And just download that. And now, yeah. And yes, that is uh, a Windows file. But uh, I'll, I'll tell you what you need after that. So again, I have this. And uh, again, you should have, when you unzip it, you should have a file called Lips102. So what you want to do is open that file, then uh, go to ROMs, and then uh, see the Lunar IPS EXE. 
just drag it in there. Now what you want to do is, again, I forgot to show you this, but uh, you want to download this thing called Wine, which lets you run some Windows applications perfectly. Uh, I'll put, I'll find the link and put that in the description too. Uh, sorry if I forgot to open up a web page or show you that, but um, simply when you want to run it, just go, open with and Wine. So now before I show you what you want to do, what you want to finally do is actually find a hack on this same website. So you can go to Featured Hacks, uh, download any hack you want. So I'm going to go to Send 7 Cursed Eggs. Sure, we'll go with that. And uh, you click on the hack name and it should start the download. So uh, what you want to do is take that download or zip file, drag it into your ROMs folder unzip it and then uh, you should have an IPS file or something you get a folder with an IPS file so the next thing I want to do is this is very important whenever you want to apply a hack or change to put a hack you first you want to make a duplicate of the original Super Mario World copy now I'm gonna rename this to seven cursed eggs so now you want to go to lunar IPS open with wine now you can also do this in crossover, but wine is free. So, so when you open the file, this thing should uh, open up. You should have this thing called Lunar IPS. So go to Apply IPS Patch, and if it's in the same folder, you should see a little heart, which is the hack you downloaded. So open it up, then uh, apply it. So select the one you renamed or the duplicate. So it should say file was successfully patched. So finally, uh, when you reopen the application, yes, uh, go to open ROM image, and uh, if you go to your one you renamed, it should be the hack or the new hack. Yeah, that is seven cursed eggs. So that's a hack. If this video helped you, do whatever you want. It's your life, not mine, so have fun.